Max, Max, what a bat red. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> um, Barrett, you remember when we were doing the giveaway and I had the Van Quest uh, Mobius? It's a one of the packers, the slingers, shoulder slung packs. Mm -hmm. Well, um. I love that thing so much. I bought one for myself. What I thought we would do is load it up with some stuff because I got all this crap laying around and I was just gonna see if some of it would fit in there just for the fun of it. <laughs> so, um, VanQuest, uh, you know, sponsored the giveaway. So, you know, they provided the, that Mobius for, at no charge, which I really want to thank them for that. That was really great. Uh, but I really love that thing so much. Not like I love my wife or anything, but I like it. Let's put it that way. That uh, Alex gave me a, Alex at Banquest gave me a discount on one. So I think that's fair enough because I'm going to make a nice video for him. And there's our box. Now the Mobius is the larger of the two shoulder slung packs. The Toll Cat is the smaller one. Let's get it out of here. See what we got. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool, bud. This is gonna be like my truck bag. You see there, it's got the, the orange liner so you can see contrasting objects. It's got the drawstring top to make it sort of semi-waterproof in there, water resistant. It's got the side. This one has the actual pouch on the side for like a water bottle or whatever you want to put there and then this side has a zipper zipper pouch really cool and then has the molly the pals webbing so hmm wonder where that can go the dock 42 we'll figure that out now what i have collected there's a bunch of junk <laughs> in this drawstring bag. And uh, let's just dump it all out, Barry. Now let's pull, pull a couple of pieces. There's my BK2. I don't know if that'll go in there or not. It's kind of big. But this is the sheath I made for it. It's got the pals webbing, the molly on the back. I had it, I had this on my Maxpedition, but I'm gonna I'm converting to VanQuest, so I'll find a place for it. But this has a, a little pouch I put on here for the uh, a striker. Which these are really good strikers too. I mean these suckers put out the sparks. These are I just buy these by the gross, they're just rods. I don't know what all this dust is on here. Golly, it's actually corroded or something. But anyway, um, if you only use a bandsaw, a ba uh, not bandsaw, a hacksaw blade uh, works really well with a ferro rod. So anyway, this video is not about all the stuff I have. <laughs> it's about trying to pack out a bag for the truck. And so let's slide that back down in there and we'll get this. We're just gonna lay this to the side for a second. Now this, this is a little bit bigger. <laughs> this is one um, small machete that I have. I don't think that's going in there either. I'll just lay that over there, bed. Now I do have some duct tape. This is the Digicam duct tape. I have my Pathfinder watch that for some reason I hardly ever wear it. I need to get back in the habit of wearing that. I have a one of the straws, the life straw. I have, oh, my little, uh, gel wax, cotton balls, screwdriver, some paracord, and just some regular old cord, some twine on a, this is kind of cool. You can take the old uh, Teflon tape things 
and put you some twine on there and it keeps it from going nuts on you. Of course, getting it back together is another story. There we go. I got a little fishing kit here. Let's see. Here's a little poncho, uh, an emergency bag. Now, I can't forget my 1911 that has the U.S. Constitution written on it. It's USB. <laughs> it's a little thumb drive. That's cool. I might have to I might have to hook that on the outside. Here's some just collapsible water bottles. That might be kind of cool to put in there. What else have we got, Barrett? Oh, what is this? Oh, is that a Boberg? Oh, a Boberg just happened to be in there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so we'll have to decide between. Now, this is this is a good side-by-side -side comparison. I made this, how long ago did I make this pocket holster for the Boberg? A year ago? So eventually this holster will look like this. That's why I don't put finishes on them because I love the way they finish out naturally. But anyway, one of these two is going to go in my, my Mobius. I'm trying to actually go through my Amp 3 stuff and see what modules you know I want to put like this is a little admin module uh, and then this is a irrigation module I may this was my first aid kit I kept in my range bag I'm thinking about converting it to uh, a first aid kit that would go in this like a bug out bag because here's there's another little a wound care I got some off and tape. There's my pencil. I think that's my ride in the rain pencil. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. A um, face shield thing. This was a pretty neat little first aid kit I put together a while back when I was doing a lot of stuff with the scouts and I had to have a, a little decent little um, first aid kit because some of the stuff I'm going to keep in the range bag is like this trauma kit and then you know the heavy stuff like the tape and the, the big bandages there's you another amp 3 module if you don't know anything about amp 3 look them up they um, there's a little wet fire fire starter and there's an emergency blanket and a compass one of my better compasses and a whistle so this will go this little kit will go back in the range bag and uh, we'll actually have another first aid kit in there anyway take out some of that bulk so that this one can thin down a little bit to fit into the Mobius look at that Barrett isn't that cool that is loaded out let me just show you right quick how I did it I may change this but uh, there was a lot more pouches than I, you know, compartments than I thought there was. So in this one I have a little multi-tool that I really hardly ever use, so I'm not going to miss it too much. You know, it'll be good for in here. And then I put the little wet fire thing right there. Okay, so that's in there. And I think there's a pin in there too. And this one, this little top one, I got my Swiss Army knife my constitution on my thumb drive and my knife sharpener what else is in there there's still plenty of room in there if I want to put something in there of course I got my identification right there now on this side this is a collapsible water bottle you can see how neatly it stores on the side and there's also that uh, striker uh, the Bear Grylls fire starter things. I got it stuck on there attached here so I'm not going to pull it out. Let's go to the other side. Barrett. On this side I have the Balfang radio and I unscrewed the antenna. There's a neat little pouch right here on the side and so the antenna for the the antenna stuck out just a little bit, so I unscrewed it and put it right in that little pouch right there. 
and also the screwdriver I love these Irwin screwdrivers the bent for it which is a Phillips and then a slotted or a flat is in that little pouch too what else did I put in there but it yeah there's plenty of room in there uh, if I wanted to put something else but for now it's that now what okay so now let's open up the main compartment well right here I have my my Gerber, uh, that wireframe knife, it's nice on a pocket clip. I have a pen there, and then open up this pouch. This is kind of a cool pouch to adjust the camera here. I have paracord, my watch, a compass. What else is in here? Oh, my flashlight. A little. And what else? Oh, I got one of the wallets. Uh, the VanQuest wallets. I need. I'll put some identification in there if I need it. And then in the main compartment, right now I have the Life Straw and my first aid kit. And there's plenty more room. There's a whole other pouch in there, and I'm sure I'll find some other stuff to put in there. <laughs> that draws up, cinches up good like that and where did our gun go hmm this is the coolest thing right here it's almost I almost missed this okay right there yeah baby that's perfect it's own little compartment okay so Barrett's gonna model it for us Looks good, doesn't it, Barrett? Yeah. Does it feel good? Mm-hmm. Now you can it can kind of go around more to your side if you want to, like to the back. There you go. That's more. That's sort of the kind of the way it goes. But so if you were in a hurry and you had to get to your gun, we're right there, right? Yep. You just slide your hand right there, right? Yep. You don't have to pull it out, but we all know where it is. <laughs> well, that looks good. I think you're a better model than I am. <laughs> well that looks good doesn't it Barrett? yeah i really like it now i just have to maybe flip a coin as to which nice pocket pistol gets put in here <laughs> i think i'm gonna leave the glock 42 in there and i'll keep this this will be kind of something i can grab at any time in the truck and then i'll have this one as a in a secret place <laughs> By the way, Alex at uh, VanQuest uh, Gear was nice enough to give me a um, coupon code, a discount code, for the rest of the year. Isn't that cool, Barrett? Cool. And I'll, uh, I'll put, put it in the description, uh, the video description, and I'll probably annotate it too. And uh, for the rest of the year, you can get 5% off. It's not a lot, but heck, it's something, right? So I uh, appreciate everybody watching.